Hello all, welcome to my channel Tech Research. Sorry friends for not being able to upload the video from long time because my laptop got damaged. I'm not able to fix it for these long days and so that's why I'm not able to upload any video. But yeah, now I fixed it and today I am here with one of the new upcoming video which was quietly asked in comments for me and I felt like being a researcher this could be one of the video that I must share. So yeah, in today's video, I'm going to share a very important platform that is ResearchGate. So ResearchGate, as I have explained in my previous video, like uh, what is the importance of ResearchGate and how the papers can be uploaded and how the papers can be downloaded. I've also made a dedicated video, like how you can create a ResearchGate without having an institutional ID. But now I realize that they have changed their website and now there is no option of like creating an account for ResearchGate if you don't have an institutional ID. But I found an another option which can be used or utilized to create a ResearchGate account or profile when you even when you don't have even an institutional ID. So let's go and check it out how it is possible in today's video. So let's switch to my laptop screen for more detail of this video like how it can be done. So go to your internet browser and write research gate in Google. Click on the first link. So this is the home page of research gate. Initially there used to be option like uh, you can connect it with different social media platforms but now they have removed that option. So there are different ways which are which is possible for you to join for free with ResearchGate. First, let's click on join for free. In this, there were different questions, which is a difficult thing. You have to, um, you, you can't skip this step and it takes a time to get a, a dedicated ResearchGate account. But if you have any of these, if you belong to any of this category, just go and, uh, just go and, follow the steps let's for example say that you're not a researcher and you just want to interest in discovering research if you click on the option then you have to specify like whether you are for what purpose you are using the research kit whether it is any scientific purpose or like you just want to read so in the second case if you can see it is just browsing you're not allowed to upload or download or see anything specific so it is a kind of difficult I would suggest but yeah if you have something which you can share then just go ahead. Again it says that you need to have a company email ID or company specifications where you are working or which position you are. If you have please I would suggest you to fill on this detail. Anyway if you don't have let's say skip and then you have to write down your name and your email id let's say for example i'll just go with the different id and name and yes as you can see you have to provide here your company email so if you will not specify your company email it would take it will ask you more specific questions because research kit is a very kind of professional platform for researchers it doesn't allow anyone other than the researchers to join this platform so it's kind of a strict which follows its policy i would say so i would suggest you if you have company email id it's well and good it can be done in just one step but let's go for example like if if i give a gmail id so uh and so if i give a gmail id and let's see what it has and then let's see continue for example now in this case even if you go here if you see like okay it's progressing now you have to have some publication where you can just identify yourself and say okay this is me if you are not able to do this step then you are not able to get an access to this account so make sure if you have some of the publication on your name it would be helpful or if you can just add it then it's good and fine or else it's difficult for you to 
crack this to make an account for this to create an account so i would suggest you definitely to add some of the applications this is not my application but i just want to show you like if you will not accept this if you say this is not me it will give you some other publication names with the matching your profile and if i say i am the author and just say continue then it will take you to the university level and more of the accounts in detail like for example master's degree and i've never published it's my just first research and you just specify like machine learning and you just answer the questions and request for free account so now they have confirmed the to your email id they have just confirmed and sent you the link where you can just join and log in with that account so this is one of the method that i want to show you try to have some publications on your name and then start using your gmail id to create research gate account so i'll show you another method in the next upcoming video like how you can create a research gate account and what is the different option in the upcoming video so stay tuned with me before leaving please subscribe to my channel tech research for updated notifications see you in next video till then take care goodbye